Welcome back to another edition of History in Your Own Backyard. I'm Susie Selleck, and today we are in Miami Town, Ohio, and I'm joined by Dick Katie. Dick, thank you once again for having us, and Diane Bachman, how are you? I'm great. Thanks for meeting us here at Sunny and Doris's in Miami Town. I would not have picked a better place, but why do you think it's so good? Uh, because over the years, a lot of history's been talked about over these uh, tables, and I thought it would be a good praise place to talk about uh, the Miami Town War Memorial. You took the words right out of my mouth, so let's get to it. Okay, well, uh, we um, produced the War Memorial to honor our local veterans yeah. that fought in World War II. And it was originally um, thought of by the Miami Memorial Day Association. And the Miami Town Memorial Day Association started out as a local chapter of the GAR. And it continued on until 1931 when the last person of the local chapter passed away. So in order to keep the um, Memorial Day services and everything going yearly, uh, the local residents um, formally um, made a Memorial Day association. Um, so that kept everything going. And after 1931, um, I'm sorry, 1942, um, the Civil Defense Corps took it over for a while, but then it went right back to the local citizens, which we've kept it alive um, for many decades. Um, World War II was a, a global war, and it was a terrible war, and it shook America to its core. It shook us from the biggest cities in America down to the smallest rural towns, which Miami Town was one of. And we made a lot of sacrifices um, in this small community because of World War II. Um, in 1940, the entire population of Whitewater Township was 1,964 people, a um, hundred of which was um, from the northern precinct of Whitewater, which was even a smaller uh, amount of people. So. For the population, we had a lot of um, local boys go to war for us, and um, we wanted to honor them. Um, around 1946, after the war, and I don't know when this was put up, we had a board in front of the town hall that listed all of the boys that served, uh, were enlisted in the service and fought in World War II. Um, at some point, it was decided that we needed a more permanent um, monument to um, dedicate to these gentlemen. So they had a subcommittee formed, which consisted of Lucy Fagley, Neoma Owens, and Zelda Hedesheimer. And they single-handedly raised the money for the bronze plaque. Um, there was 100 boys on that uh, plaque. And Jesse Owens oversaw the masonry work um, that was built around that plaque. So it was... Uh, it was a labor of love, and um, every year we have our Memorial Day services. The 100 people that served in our um, community, four of them made the supreme sacrifice. Um, they were Richard E. Cady, Richard J. Hukentobler, Charles J. Owens, and Chris Reese. Um, over the years, because we had the Korean War and the Vietnam War, we added two side panels to that uh, memorial. And the two people that we lost um, in the Korean and Vietnam Wars, Wars were Robert McGuire and Richard Lindy. Um, but it's hard to talk about the war memorial without talking about our Memorial Day services. Um, which I'm going to let Dick talk uh, a little bit about. Yeah. Um, he took them over two years ago, didn't you, Dick? Um, after Brownie passed away, and he's led the charge ever since. He's, he's done a great job, and he's brought some um, wonderful uh, memories to the table, and he's in, um, made a lot of people more aware of what people went through and um, the sacrifices they made for our country. So, Dick, you want to talk a little bit about our Memorial Day services that, I mean, they're a direct result of World War II for us keeping them going. It's, it's 
it's such a tradition here. Um, these services began 129 years ago, and we've had a Memorial Day service every year. So no matter what, we're going to continue that regardless of what we have to do. Our memorial service is short and sweet. Uh, we have a small parade. We have a dedication at the War Memorial, and we usually try to have a couple, at least one speaker. And in the last two years, I've been talking about some of the names on the memorial. So a little different twist to it, but I think people get a lot out of that, so we're going to continue it that way. Uh, we do have a final salute to our veterans in the cemetery, and that pretty much rounds up our service. In the last couple years, we've even managed to get a flyover. So um, quite a step up from, from what we were doing, but um, I don't know, it's, it's such a good thing to do. I, I can't imagine us ever stopping. Yeah. Done, and that was it's in the bylaws that every year we make sure there's a flag on every grave in our cemetery uh, for each veteran that's buried there so every year I think oh, who am I going to get to help with this and every year the Church of Christ steps forward and brings the youth group down and they all spend a couple hours putting flags on the veterans grave which I think is a terrific learning experience and um, letting them be a part of the community, which is such a, it's a rare thing anymore to learn. So um, they always come through for us, and we're grateful every year for that. Well, I think one thing that I would consider myself truly grateful for, too, is to be part of something that maybe we call it a bit of tradition at this point, or not, but is there is there something by way of a tray that might be able to come out here and join us? I think we could. Um, let's see if Kent. Kent? Yeah. Could you bring over a little something for us? Sure. And Dick, can I get your take on what is coming on over here? Uh, well, I, it's something we feel is a special treat. Um, it's our bicentennial bourbon, and we wanted to offer a salute to all the veterans um, as part of this video. and a good way to share our feelings. I would say so. It, this smells absolutely delish. Thank you. <laughs> so I suppose yeah. it's worth, yeah, I mean, right? We, thank we've you got, for having us here. Thank you um, very you much. Glad you showed up. Glad Cheers. To Cheers. all our veterans, yeah. thank you. Thank, thank you, thank you very much. For Both your local show. and national, right? All of them, yeah? All Cheers. This is great. Okay. This is really good. Thank you. It may oh. not be the right way, but it's the Miami Town way. <laughs> Wait, what was that? It might not be the right way, but it's the Miami, Miami Town, Town way. way. It's the right way if we're here. <laughs> and indeed. All right. Yes. Thank you. Thank you so much. Dick, Diane, thank, thank you both. You. Thank you for coming. We really enjoyed it. Me too. Because <laughs> not every one of my days ends like this. Thank you for watching another episode of History in Your Own Backyard. Hope you enjoyed your time with us today here in Miami Town, Ohio. Diane, Dick, thank you both for your time you. today. And remember, travel, travel slowly, slowly and stop often. often. Bye for now. Mm -hmm.